Good morning. I'm Mrs. Popova. And this is Philomena, my pet. We live in the village in the Catalan Pyrenees called Sort. It's in the middle of a valley, surrounded by very high mountains. It's very beautiful. Many people here habitually have their breakfast at bars on working days. Philomena and I have breakfast at the Tessel. It's her favorite. Well, we don't really have breakfast inside the bar. Because you see, Philomena is quite noisy. She barks at every living thing that happens to cross her field of vision. So I go and get breakfast at the bar and I bring it to the car. Which is good because we can have breakfast together and we listen to the radio and I can discuss issues with fellow men. Now, don't you think that because I engage in conversations with my dog, I'm suffering from some sort of mental disorder? That's not the case. The great Spanish philosopher, Don Miguel de Unamuno, said in one of his books that crowds might calculate quadratic equations. We can't know because they can't communicate. So how can I know that Philomena doesn't understand what I say? I can't know. So I comment things with her. And I have the feeling when she looks at me attentively that she understands what I say and that she replies. Last night, for instance, we were listening to the radio at home and they said there had been a nasty brawl with three people injured and that it had started with an argument over politics. Now everybody knows that the quickest way to start an argument is by discussing politics. Or football. Or religion. So I said this to Philomena, and she replied, So why do people start brawls if they know it? I said, Well, Philomena, you know, we're all going through very difficult circumstances. And some people are suffering terribly. And stress causes the glands to segregate substances that are damaging to the system. Some people might think that by shouting they get rid of these substances. Others have lots of complexes and a low self-esteem. And perhaps they think that by shouting, they can overcome these handicaps. And, well, people are so complicated. There might be so many reasons. But now, you tell me, Philomena, I told her. Why do you buy? Why do you bark 
at horses, at cows, at birdies, at any living thing that comes your way. Philomena stared at me with such a meaningful look that I knew right away she was saying, Did you ask me why I bark? Well, I am a dog. Um, why else? This made me think. Well, dogs barking is not the same as people barking as if they were dogs. You see, Philomena is quite thought-provoking. She's wise. Though sometimes, <laughs> she doesn't seem so. <laughs> oh, Philomena. <laughs> I'm just something wrong with you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>